time to play some some magic. Oh, oh, oh magic the gathering. There are so many mountains, chat. We need the mountains. Oh, 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 mountains. Oh. Mm. Excellent mountains. Ah, angry, dirty Tron player died to mountains. Mm. Mm. This, this not goblin, but we call it goblin go machine. Draw lots more goblins. An honorary artifact goblin. Oh, oh, oh silly Tron player. That's the same land you've already played. Oh, poor Tron player. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Just, just like we drew it up. Smock, smock, smock. Excellent, excellent. Silly mm. Modo, stack the triggers. Stack the triggers. Mm. <laughs> oh. 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 More Tron pieces. Angry artifacts make Goblin want to smash. Oh. 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 Mm. More time pieces. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, gotta uh, smashy, 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 smashy. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, goblin count smock and smock and double smock mm, the double smock the double smock is excellent mm. silly worm silly worm no match for the triple smoke, double smoke combo. Smoke. Oh, mm. Mm. That. That lethal smoke, no, not lethal, doesn't make double red mana. Bad human shaman not make all red mana. Bad, bad human shaman. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> so we can... Hmm. My smocks count, we have one shot. One shot from the smockings. Are we one shot? No, we're good, right? We're good, we should smock the face. We smock the face. Take Goblin very bad at smoking counting. Oh, the smock, some double smock. Smoke combat, smock. Oh, triggers, triggers. <sighs> oh, what? Oh. 
What if we cut? We get rid of the terrible, terrible human shaman that not make a red mana, huh? And by the, by the light of the blood moon, the goblins shall revel in the death of the Trond. The death of the Trond shall come by the light of the bloodiest moons. Um, maybe, maybe we don't have time. Maybe we don't have time for this and we should give second chance to human shaman. Maybe human shaman better than drawing cards. Maybe, maybe slightly better. All right, human shaman. You cost us again, human shaman. You will not be shown mercy. Submit, submit to the goblin strong. Submit to the goblin power. Oh, oh. <sighs> Jeff is dead! He is dead! The goblin has replaced Jeff! The Jeff who you came for is no more! You have Goblin to stream now! Goblin Smoktron player better than Jeff! Oh, so many goblins! So many goblins! Oh! oh. Oh, don't mulligan the goblins. The goblins are into smoke magic online. The goblins are here and they are very angry. Oh. Mm. Mm. Goblin smash. Oh no, it's too many mountains, Dick. I don't want mountains, I want more goblins. Give me more goblins, Dick. Oh. Oh, oh no, big scary beast. Goblin need to smoke before the beast happen. Smoke faster, friends. Oh. 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 Mm. oh, basic, f oh, silly Tron player. That's not the Tron land. <laughs> Smock the non Tron land. Oh, oh, that was not. That was not. Not the goblin we needed, Deck. We needed two mana of one mana goblin. Oh, at least this shall guide us to victory. He is good. Good goblin friend. Oh. All of your scrying shall not save you from the smoking that is coming for you, Tron. <sighs> more spheres, more artifacts, more cards to smoke! <sighs> oh. Oh. They call us fanatics, but we are, we are powerful, chat. We are powerful. They shall live in fear of our power. We are not fanatics. We are the goblins. We need, we need more goblins, chat. If we draw more goblins together, they shall smoke. They shall smoke. <sighs> they did not play the scary beast. Goblin like the no beast play. Oh, oh the grenades. The grenade shall guide us to the victory. The victory shall shall be empowered by the grenades. No! 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 Goblin smoke wrong thing! 
No, goblins! No, no goblin wanted to smork opponent! We smoked the goblin! No, goblins! Don't smoke each other, goblins! No, we must work! We must work together, friends! Friends, why must we f No, my goblin friends, they have turned on each other! Our brother, they were meant to smoke the opponents, but they have fallen short. They are fighting amongst themselves like angry red and green creatures. Oh no. Oh, oh. Yes. You give stupid goblins grenades and they don't know where to throw the grenades. Oh. Oh. No, big angry beast. If we had grenades, goblin, the angry beast would not matter. They would be dead. <sighs> Hopefully we draw more goblins to bushwhack. To bushwhack the goblins. Our people, they shall whack and whack and whack together. Nature shall claim you, and then the goblins shall claim too. Oh, nature cannot save you from the smoking opponent. Nature cannot save you. Oh, oh yes! Fear the smoke! Let the smoke consume your body! Smoke, goblins! Smoke! Oh, glorious smoking! Oh! 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 Goblin. Fuck! It's a good thing goblins don't know how to tie motherfucking knots. You know that? He's dead. The goblin is dead and he's not coming back. Did he match? He okay, he two owed he two owed his match. He two owed his match. That's that's acceptable. The go the the goblin two owed and I maybe I shouldn't have killed him because he two owed the match. Maybe Maybe I shouldn't have killed him because, I, I mean, it's a burn deck, right? Like, anybody can 2-0 someone with the burn deck. It's, it's fine. All right, so I feel like, I feel like I need to put up, put up some better results here. All right, let's, what are we playing? We've got, we've got some, yeah, sweet. All right, excellent. Is Jeff drunk? Am I drunk? Jesus, what is this? <laughs> oh. All right. I mean, this scene seems pretty good. It needs another land, but we're lucky, right? The Oscar goes to... <laughs> oh. The Goblet... Oh, I mean... I feel like the no justice stream translates to, oh, this is really important, chat. You need to not share videos of the goblin playing because I could get in big trouble if Wizards of the Coast sees someone else was playing on my magic account. It's it's against the terms of service to allow other people to play on your magic online account. So if WotC knows that someone else was playing on my Moto account, like, they're not gonna cut me any slack. They, they really don't like me. So, please don't, don't tell the Moto authorities. That would be bad. Look at that, drew a land like a goddamn professional. God bless us, everyone. But if the goblin is not human, then it, don't be a speciest. Don't be a speciest. <clears throat> Goblins aren't people. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to ship the guide into the voice here. Giving them a voice token sounds scary. It was under duress. That's true. Maybe they won't hold me responsible. Maybe, maybe they won't hold me responsible for what happened. Maybe it's not my fault. You're a coward. Geoff would have shipped. Who's it? Did Geoff? Is that the goblin? Is that? Did he? And don't give him a name. I'm gonna feel bad that I killed him if you give him a name. Like, stop making me feel bad. He tied me up. Geoff was our overlord. <laughs> ah, you're already giving into the Stockholm syndrome, chat. You're already giving into the stock. I think I just sack this. Just take him and throw him away like that gobl goblin we killed already. More grenades. God, how much fucking damage do we have in our hand? Holy shit. These are for Geoff, not Jeff. <laughs> uh... That's, that, is that lethal damage? That's just like lethal damage, right? These are my boys. They gonna give it to you. You know, I never watch live at work because I'm at work, but this I had to tune in for. Where is the salt meter so far? They need a green source that doesn't deal damage to them or they're still dead. No, they need another creature in the bin too, right? If Jake isn't wearing that mask and doing Mono Reg Vintage Draft, I'm suing. So the kids actually aren't going to be back today. So the kids, Christy's picking the kids up from daycare and she's going right to Chicago to visit family. That, that was kind of impressive. That was like, just like 18 you over the course of can I ship bits towards rerunning Black Green Rock? Of course, Jackson. Of course. You are always welcome to support support whatever decks you want in the queue with any bits that you send. <clears throat> hmm. You know, I feel like I have something in my throat. I need to I need to grab my water really quick. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was when the goblin hit me and tied me up, but something something's like, you know, I need I need some water to keep my keep my throat together. Alright, so the searing bloods are great here, right? I definitely want these. Um, <clears throat> is Beaumont Courier not good enough on the draw? I feel like this card's not going to get a tax in, right? And then they probably are on a collected company court of calling deck, most likely. So the Graft Diggers cages seem fine. <clears throat> Graft Diggers cages seem fine. Be careful, goblin folk tend to move in groups. I will have to, maybe I'll have to trigger some alarms and make sure, make sure that that, uh, <clears throat> that, that doesn't, uh, I don't get ambushed again. I revealed a company off a of goblin guide. Good catch, good catch. <clears throat> so, I think we have enough removal that we can kill the mana dorks, but I also don't want to overboard. Like, I feel like boarding in cages and moons is probably overboarding. God, look how much damage we have again. We just have, like, 19 points of damage in our opener. Just can't mulligan, right? Seems pretty good. Can kill the, kill the mana dork, too. There will come a time when your children will need their perfect father illusion shattered, and now you have a video to help them do that. <laughs> In all seriousness, I hope someone clipped the the goblin coming up onto the screen because I definitely didn't start recording. I guess I could highlight it manually, but I, I hope someone highlighted the whole bit, the start of the bit at least. God, God bless us. This is exactly why four reckless over four. Yes, exactly why. I'm sure Jeff's kids will see that at some point. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. That was a bit. Sorry, did I did I ruin the illusion? Did I ruin the illusion? Did anybody tag me in a tweet? 
Rollins, tag me. I go to... <laughs> there we go. Matt Man got, got the start of it, I think. <clears throat> That's an A-plus clip, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jeff's kids will talk about this at Therapy One Day. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out here today. We're having a good time. We've been streaming for almost three hours. I'm planning to aim for 21 more. We're going to be playing aggressive red decks all day today. We've got a bunch of modern. We're going to play a Legacy League at some point later. I think we're also going to force mono red and cube draft at some point as well. What headphones are those? They are like $30, I think they're Sades. They're $30 Sades USB headset. I actually, I would not recommend them. The They have an issue where if you, they have an annoying issue with the volume level on the computer, which is obnoxious. I wanna bottom that, right? I wanna bottom that. Definitely killing that with Mog Fanatic. They are red headphones, that's fair. The headphones are on theme. Yep, everything, everything will end up on YouTube as always. This is probably a guide plus cage turn. Definitely. Give Geo for Riot. Burning Tree and do both. Maybe that's right. I guess then I could just Bushwhacker next turn. Yeah, that's probably better. It's probably better to a burning tree. I was thinking, I had in my head that I needed an extra spell to enable the bushwhacker, but this is a different bushwhacker. This is the bushwhacker that you just pay two for. Yeah, B BTE into guide cage was much better there. Bring back our Lord and Savior, Geoff. So I'm going to bolt this Eternal Witness here. And then if we draw land next turn, honestly, I'll probably just go land, Bushwhacker, No Kicker, Flame of Keld. So I actually think Mog Fanatic's a little bit better on average. Not having to tap to sacrifice, I think it's a pretty big deal. <clears throat> Courser of Crewfix, is that beatable? I don't know that that's beatable. I guess maybe on the back of Flame of Keld we could do it here. Like if we hit the land and then get to go like Whacker Flame of Keld this turn. It's another guide. I think I'm just... I think I'm just playing these out. Yeah, that's true. Grenade lets us cut through it. We don't have a good attack here. It's definitely not worth trading one of these for four points of damage, I don't think. Maybe that's incorrect. I don't know. With the Flame of Kel, they feel like incentivized to hold on to my stuff. Master Neo with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you very much and welcome. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine this month. I'm going to concede to that. Uh, they just drew a scavenging ooze. <clears throat> the meme is spreading. Um, do I want roast? Is roast overboarding? 
is the question I have to ask myself. I feel like it might not be. Do I just cut? How do we feel about cutting Flame of Keld and boarding in Roast? I think I like that. I don't think I want Beaumont on the play. Like, what am I cutting? I think I think Cage is pretty valuable. Yeah, Courser Courser's like a pretty big must answer problem. It's possible that I'm overboarding here, but I'm not sure. Is this one good, chat? How do we feel about this hand? How do we feel about this hand? And like, Roast doesn't not have a text box, right? Like, Kate, Roast has... Roast, like, kills scavenging oozes and it can kill mana dorks in a pinch. Like, it does it does a lot. Like, it's not a narrow card. Honestly, I'd probably cut Cage before I cut Roast thinking about it more. You gonna fetch shock and play a Birds of Paradise? That would be great. So I don't think I'm Goblin Guiding here, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and attack for two, and then I'm going to go BTE, BTE, Mogwar Marshal. And then next turn, I can pay for the War Marshal plus play Goblin Guide. Rose doesn't kill the bird. That's true. It kills Noble Hierarch, though, and they probably have more Nobles than anything else. Not paying for Marshall means a whack is legal. Yeah, that's probably worth not paying for. Yeah, it's probably not worth paying. That's fair. Makes Goblin Grenade pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, we're not we're not in the business of like yeah, let's let's just let's just decline. Draw a land and be sad. Yeah, a little little sad. We put them pretty low here though. They get to eat one and take seven and go to four, so they're dead to a grenade. Like, so, a big part of the difference here is if I would have kept the Mogwar Marshal, they'd be going to three, which would make Lightning Bolts lethal. Although, I guess they could have lands here too, right? They need to Eternal Witness to a land drop. That's really good for us. They're going to five... Uh, I guess they'd have been they'd have been just dead on board if I'd have kept if I'd have kept the Mogwar Marshal. Yeah, I think maybe that was greedy. Like I still could have cast grenade, like made exactly wax better. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. So they're gonna go to one here. They're gonna eat two of our two of our things. Yeah, so if I if I would have paid for this last turn, I would have had an extra attacker, and we would have been able to kill them here. If they have a path to exile, we're in big trouble. Yep, so they're going to three. So they're still dead to grenades, but like again. I guess they wouldn't have been dead guaranteed that turn. They get to company now. All right. This is a grenade or bust. Oh, that's not going to do it. That is true. That is true. I have... I officially have... A worse, a worse record than the mouth breathing goblin. I have, I have a worse record than the mouth breathing goblin. I think this is a keep. Double, double Beaumont seems pretty good on the play, especially. We want Geoff. You have a boot because you're one of the hardworking people of Hoglandia, Phyrexian Fox. Just 
Speaking of mouth breathing goblins, how's chat doing? Uh, God bless. God bless. Hey, Too Tall Jones. Too Tall Jones. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome. There's a lot of people you could be supporting on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting my stuff this month. So, next turn, if I decline to play for the Mog War Marshal and I draw, I could bolt grenade. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to decline to pay for the War Marshal. And then if we draw one mana spell here, we can, we can activate the Beaumont and draw three here pretty, pretty freely. Perfect. So I get to bolt them at end of turn plus draw three with the, the Beaumont Courier, which is nice. We do have, we have Hoaglandia themed sub icons now. Moderators get shields to go with their swords at 12 month. Should regular burn play some number of Beaumont? So uh, Collins Mullins actually sent us a donation along with his deck list that has Beaumont's in traditional burn. So we're gonna try that at some point later today. I have the first like five or six leagues pretty firmly ironed out, but we'll, we'll mix and match a little as we get later. <clears throat> Lil Marion. With the twenty dollars nation, thanks for all the fun and laughs. Put put this in humans company, not the Jerry Chi list, the old list. Sounds good. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna upstairs here and sack this. Ooh, ooh! We found some candy chat. We found some nummy, nummy goblin shaped candy. Mmm, mmm, smork, smork, smork. Am I doing this right? Am I smorking correctly? Is this, this how you correctly smork? Is this Beaumont card, how do, we, how do you feel about this Beaumont card, chat? Is it good? Is this Beaumont card good? No, we're not gonna play standard. I'm planning to play some legacy and I'm planning to play uh, we're going to force mono red in a cube draft, but I don't intend to play standard. I definitely want these searing bloods, right? Like that's not close. What am I trimming for them? What do we trim? What do we trim for searing blood? What do we trim for Searing Blood? I feel like this has to be a Flame of Keld matchup, right? Like if this isn't a Flame of Keld matchup, like where, where is it coming in? I guess, do I want blood? Do I even care about this? It's like for exactly Pyromancer. Yeah, maybe I just don't board. Maybe I just don't board. How do we feel about not boarding? I think I just like not boarding. I'm going to order lunch now before I forget. Because it's already noon. It's going to take a half hour to 45 minutes to get here. So, this hand's great. I'm going to take a hot second and order some food for delivery here. Flaming Hot Cheetos. I don't, I don't think so. I think I'll pass on that one. You tried Naru and Mardu Grishel, Brent. Nahir, you tried Nahiri and Mardu. I don't understand why I would want to play that card. Like, what what problem is that card solving by playing it? it to me, it doesn't seem like it solves any issues the deck has. I'm actually getting Panera. Panera Bread delivers now.
Yeah, you do the thing. All right. Um, St. Louis Bread Company, call it the correct name. I don't know about that. Um, is this just a Mogwar Marshall turn? This is probably Mogwar Marshall, right? Why not run Emissary into Mogwar Marshal? Uh, Cause I want Emissary to enable the, to the bush, enable the Bushwhacker next turn. Like next turn I, I got to go Emissary Goblin Guide Bushwhacker. I guess I already had the land set up to guarantee that. I'll donate 10 to have Geoff answer the door. <laughs> Peek and Fern with the seven month three subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate it. It's another bushwhacker, okay. That's not a bad idea, putting some type of thing on it to identify what it is. We want him back. All right, here's, here's the real important decision of the day. What, what kind of dessert do I get with my Panera? This is, this is quite possibly the most important decision I make this afternoon. What, what kind of dessert comes with my, all of them? That's a giant chocolate chip cookie. I think it's pack one, pick one. There is a brownie, that's true. That's, God, that's, ah. Uh, I think I wanna, I'm more of a cookie guy. We're gonna go with the cookie. We're gonna play, we're gonna play the cookie card. All right, so let's kick this and then surge this. Treat it like two headed giant, you get two picks. <laughs> I can pay with PayPal, that's so convenient. That's absurd. Uh, discard a card, sure. There's stuff happening over here still. I'm ordering lunch. The cookie may have more surface area, but the brownie has more chocolate and fudge. It's about, it's about variety. Variety is the spice of life. That's a great cookie emote. All right, so they're down to 11 here. Which is probably a bit too high. And they're draining. So I think they've probably, we're probably stabilized at this point, right? You feel like... I feel like we're probably just dead. Could probably run back game three here. All right, all right. I, I guess if we drew exactly Flame of Keld, maybe they were killing us pretty quick. We're playing a lot of different red decks. There's, there's some variety here, okay? It seems okay. I mean, like, there's very low probability that we're going to draw a Flame of Keld there. Like, super, super low. I 
I see you, Nivik. What did you what did you ask? Sorry, I was ordering food, so I just missed a bunch of chat messages. Thank you, Jeff. I'm offering to match that ten dollar Jeff. Alright, I will answer the door as G off. But like my webcam's not gonna go that far. This link gets you the donate to the donate tab. You can use that in your mobile browser. Geoff's gonna get you blacklisted at Panera. Possibly, quite, quite possibly. Don't answer it in character, just the mask. <laughs> Alright, they're down to 15 here, and this has them at a virtual 12, and this has them at a virtual 10. And like, your Panera doesn't deliver, that sounds so terrible for you. If you answer in character, I'm sure the police will be called. Sign the receipt. No, no right on receipt. That lethal. I feel like that's close to lethal, right? Oh uh, no. Do I cash in a grenade now? Cashing in a grenade now seems aggressive. I could deal nine to them here. I think I'm supposed to wait. Yep. Yeah, discard spells are a little scary. They've already played two Inquisitions though, so. I'm gonna point this bolt upstairs, just use my mana. I guess it's a little bit worse to use my mana that way when I have a reckless bushwhacker I could draw like this. So I can grenade them down to five and then attack them down to three. I don't think I'm supposed to grenade the threat. All right, opponent confirming that one and zero are different numbers for us. We've got, uh, see if they have a collective brutality here. They're already through one of them. Looks like a brutality. Yeah, it's unfortunate. All right, so bolts are lethal. They have a pretty quick clock here. My phone is upstairs in another room. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna bury us pretty quickly here. We only played one bolt. Uh, drawing the guide gives us grenade as an out, which is night. Nice. I mean, it's like six in one hand, half dozen in the other. The Goblin Guide being in play keeps their elementals back, which is nice. Like, they have discard spells that could take the Goblin out of our hand. So, like, it's not safe regardless of where we put it. Niv with the $10 donation. Can you put five towards the driver's tip when the food turns up and five towards that sweet Amazon loan box? 10 out of 10, Niv, will do. It is, it is a redraw. You are not wrong. Survey says... Uh, we are technically not dead on board, right? We get to block here and then take five and go to one. And 
that's lethal. Man, I am, I am like exceedingly bad at this, huh? We sh we should really get the goblin back in here. We should, we should really, really get the goblin. The goblin needs to lead his people. The goblin needs to lead his people. Asking a delivery person to come into your house is creepy and not something you should do. That is, that is not, not something you should do. You should talk to him and implied the deck was easy to win with and then have gone O2. <laughs> you are, you are not wrong. You are, you are not wrong. Can she off play game five? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's pretty good. It happens more than you would think. Yeah. Yeah, that. Ooh. Ooh, another, another Tron player, huh? This is, this is who the Goblin beat, right? So this is... This should be easy for us. If a goblin can beat Tron with this deck, I should be able to beat Tron with this deck. Geoff would be 4-0 right now. Look at that. Just the the casual, like, bold face. Play the Tron piece I don't know about, letting me know that they have Tron next turn. So I could observe a moment of silence for Geoff. Legion Loyalist actually gets us an extra point of damage here, basically, because they can't block now and then and then ping because I'd have trample. Uh, We draw a land, I think we have lethal, right? So I grenade them down to eight. I attack with everything. Yeah, yeah, we grenade, grenade them down to eight. And then we double bolt them and then we mog fanatic them. Oh, no, wait, we're one short, right? Did I just get chat lethal? I think I just got chat lethal. I think I just got chat lethal. Yep, I just got chat lethal. My idiot boss just got fired, have some bits to celebrate. They can't attack, that's true. They have an Ugin in their hand, though. They have an Ugin, so if they have a land, they get to Ugin clean my board. Yeah, if I attack and bolt the one they block, they block, they block. You know, it's the same amount of damage, right? I attack, I bolt the one they block. No, I would have gotten them, right? If I attack and bolt, they block the Goblin Guide, I bolt the Goblin Guide. No, they take three down to ten. And then I grenade them to five. Yeah, we can still only get them to one. Attacking doesn't do anything. Yep, 
Yeah, it's three damage, regardless of how you slice it. Grenade's not an instant. Grenade would be unbeatable if it was an instant. Answer the door is G off and play some Belcher. I don't, we're not going to play Belcher during the stream tonight. That is definitely not happening. That does not qualify for red aggressive decks. Sure. Assuming my opponent is a stone. Oh no, Marty, friendly fire. Assuming my opponent makes the worst possible play they could make, it was lethal. You are, you are, you are correct that assuming they make the worst possible play they could, I could have killed them. We really need a friendly fire emote. We, we really need a friendly fire emote. Smork, 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 smork. I'm going to have the good old turn three here, right? Almost, not quite. That's, that's, that's certainly a turn three. All fire is friendly in oh God, Goblinlandia. Jeff, please. I got, I got you back, Marty. You're back. Guess who's back? Back again. Marty's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Marty's back. He is back. Do, 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 do. We're going to play Legacy. We're not going to play Popper. Popper is not popular. Popper numbers are always consistently bad. I've tried, I've tried Popper several times. I know there's people in, in chat that are fans of Popper, but by and large, people tune out and leave when you start playing Popper. It's less, less popular than Legacy by a significant margin, and it's far less popular than, than Modern. All right, no try until turn four, so you're saying there's a chance. <clears throat> Get smorky with it, right? Get smorky with it. Here's to hoping you get burn, baby, burn, disco, inferno for this entire stream. Also, would you put this to that historic summoning deck because that looks sweet? 10 out of 10 anonymic. Will do. Thank you for the support as always. Uh, I think this is a goblin guide, grenade you, hold up red to draw three with a Beaumont courier in the event of a sweeper. I think that's what we're supposed to do here. And I think I'm actually supposed to keep I'm supposed to keep the Legionnaire just in case they have a creature here. Oh, that's true. He can't exile Beaumont. That's interesting. They could have O-Stone, though. They could have O-Stone. You're right that Ugin can't do it, but they have more O-Stones than Ugins, and they're going to have eight mana this turn. Yeah, see? And I'm definitely just cracking this Beaumont here at end of turn. I'm like, this puts them in kind of a medium spot because like they don't want my Beaumont to draw more cards, but they also don't want me to like play my haste creatures and kill them, which is great. That's true. That's true. But I think I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I think I'd like to enter combat here. They're going to crack this. I'll crack. Whoa, they let me get a... Oh, they're going to respond to the trigger? Sure.
So like they're dead to Mog Fanatic and Bolts. I could be okay next turn. Yeah, Beaumont Courier is like a really powerful card by and large. That's unfortunate. I think we're dead now. No, I don't think so. I think the odds of them doing something like this on their following turn are like really fucking high. So like we should just like try and kill them that turn. Morning, Jat. Howdy, howdy. I think this game's over at this point. Honestly, the Flame of Keld seem kind of shitty in this deck. Every time we've drawn them, they've been awkward, and I wish they were just more cards that killed my opponent. I'm interested. We're gonna play. We're gonna play some other variations of this deck later on. So I'm interested to see how they how they play out in relation to this one. Are you gonna make make me use platform to donate for a car? I mean, if you want a crown jet, that's the only way to get one. I can't I can't hand them out manually, unfortunately. G off better at fighting Chad than Jeff confirmed. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think it just was worse than just like any other piece of tool that was pushing damage. So if they attack here, grenade is lethal. This is smart. They should leave their guy back. I, I mean... Doesn't really do anything. Right on, right on time, Blood Boom. Yeah, if they down tick, I can abrade the Thrag Tusk, which is nice. Now, if they don't have anything else, a grenade could be lethal still. So we get to haste the bushwhacker. Um, Mog War Marshal is also lethal, right? Yeah, Worm Coil is pretty bad for us. Oh, we knew. Did we know they have the Worm Coil? Oh, they got it off the Sanctum, right? Yeah, we're pretty dead. I'm gonna play the last one in this league just because I'd like to I'd like to try and not hemorrhage as many play points as possible. So if we can get 20 play points out of the last match, I'll take it. But yeah, I think I think after playing these games, these flame of Kelds are kind of nonsense. Thanks everyone for hanging out here today. Well, for the last match of pop, I'd just like to thank everyone for tuning in for the burning down of Hoaglandia. My name is Jeff Logan. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer. We're doing a 24-hour stream today of all red-based aggressive decks. If you're enjoying my stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the people that keep me employed here full-time like I do. You can also support my stuff by supporting some of my wonderful sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell some Magic Online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal, I'll check out with them. You'll save 8% on your singles orders there. CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code JEFF5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code JEFF12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags there. And of course, we'd like to welcome everyone to Hoaglandia. Thanks for hanging out here today, folks. And please talk to your friendly neighborhood moderator about receiving your complimentary timeout. We are currently three and a half hours into our 24 hours. Almost, almost a sixth of the way there. I 
I think Mog War Marshal is pretty good. I think just like basically having a card that's like Dragon Fodder with occasional upside seems fine. Yeah, I agree with that assessment. It fills a similar role to Bomac Courier while being less aggressive. So, I think I want to another Tron match. I think I want to just play the Bushwhacker here, right? For sure. Uh, there is not a full list of the exact deck list we're playing today. I posted the, the archetype names on Twitter, but I just didn't have time to format 16 deck lists last night before I went to bed. All is dust. All right, well, we have something we're racing against here. Good news. All is dust doesn't kill Beaumont Courier. Did I get a new camera? I did not. I just have a green screen up behind me today. So we can do fun effects. Well, that's a good start to them dying. An idea when the cube force will be. It's going to be late tonight. It's going to be... So, MTGO Traders only has a person op on staff until 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. So, at, before they leave at 2 a.m., I have to pick up a couple, of, couple last couple of decks from them. And then we'll play those decks plus do a cube draft between 2 and 9 in those 7 hours or so. Um, I'm just going to do that. Flames out. Blood Moon Abrade in. I can't put the goblin in. The goblin died. He tied me up. I killed him. Okay? He's dead. He is, he is no more. No, we we 3 2 with the black-red deck. We 3 2 with the deck that I built. To toot, to toot my own horn here, the, the deck that I built, we 3 2 with. What about Geoff's brother, Hef? Uh, maybe Niv. I feel like the cube doing well on the YouTube channel is also kind of like why the vintage does well. Like if we did it consistently, it would kind of oversaturate. Am I doing my traditional wrap up everything? It's basically just going to be cut the flame of Keld Zach. I'll probably have more specific feedback after I play, like, other 8-whack variations today. We're going to play a couple more at some point for sure. But I I definitely um, I definitely think that the Flame of Kel is just, like, not great. I do that for a few different videos, uh, Weens. So it's not just because I tweeted. I think my Panera is here. All right, I am put. I'm putting it on. All right, I'm gonna go get my food. This is this is fine. I got I got him. Okay, I'm gonna drag his corpse up front. That was great. We are going to terrify the children with that mask someday. The, the delivery driver hadn't even knocked the door because I heard his car door close. So he like he jumped when I opened the door as he was going to knock. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, you're not gonna have try until turn four, opponent. That's so sad for you. That's so sad for you. So, if the goblin beat Tron once and I beat Tron once, that means I'm as good as playing this deck as, as Geoff was, right? Where I'm like the same level. I did get a cookie. I did go with the cookie. You are 1-3 and he was a glorious 1-0. I think I want to pay for this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this die because if we draw, I'll draw a whack. We kill them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is completely reasonable and beatable. It actually is with the Legion loyalist, huh? I'm gonna leave this Mog War Marshal in play just in case they Ugin me. I'm gonna mute myself while I eat the sandwich really quick. Thanks for hanging out, folks. So for the record, they were dead no matter what they did there. They would have died to first strike if they blocked. If they blocked and nature's claimed their thing, they would have died to the trample from the creature because this card just gives so much check. So no matter what they did there with the nature's claim and how they sequenced their time dip, they were dead on that attack. So just for the record, they were they were dead on that attack. <laughs> 